kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. The Good Deeds Agency. One day, Daddy was taking out the trash, and the kittens decided to help him. <laughs> Thank you, kittens. What lovely, helpful children helping your daddy out. Know what? It feels great when somebody thanks you. It sure does. Should we try helping someone else out? We should start our own good deeds agency. We could help everyone. They'd all love that. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens turned their treehouse into the good deeds agency. All they needed next were people to help. Looks like there just aren't any cats that need our help. It's just that no one knows what we're here to do. We should just walk around and help everyone. That'll get our agency's name out there. The Good Deeds Agency is here to help you. Oh, no. Looks like Mommy isn't here for us to help. That's all right. We'll just put all these buttons into jars and leave a We Helped You card. She'll see what we did and the card, and she'll thank us later. It'll be great. <laughs> to go get some new dandelions. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. We're really good at helping people. Our good deeds agency is just the best. Here come the cats that we helped. Prepare to get thanked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What's wrong? Dear kittens, I understand that you were only trying to be helpful, but unfortunately you seem to have created some problems. What? You've sorted my buttons by color, but I needed them sorted by shape. The shapes of the buttons were the important thing for me. We wanted to plant new flowers today, but then you flooded our garden beds. All of the soil turned into a mushy swamp. Oh, you kids did not realize my artistic vision, and you mixed up all my paints. Yellow is green, and blue is now purple. Oh. oh, no. We tried to make a good deeds agency, but made a bad one instead. <laughs> Don't feel bad, my darling kittens. Trying to help your neighbors is a wonderful idea. Just make sure you give it some thought. I have a really good idea. We can correct all of the agency's mistakes by first asking what we can help them with. And exactly how. Soon the kittens fixed all the mistakes they made and helped everyone so well that word about their good deeds agency got around to all their neighbors. Kittens, some of our neighbors could really use the good deeds agency's help. <laughs> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The good deed agency turned out to be a great idea. It's so nice to make friends and neighbors happy by helping them. The little things in life. One day, the kitty cat family decided to visit Grandpa. You'll go paddling with Grandpa this afternoon, and after we'll have extra yummy treats for tea. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Oh, I need to help Daddy in the kitchen. We'll be leaving in a half an hour. That means we have more time to play. Okay, think fast. 
Daddy was talking to Grandpa on the phone. We'll bring our inflatable kayak over for a little paddling. Excellent. I'll gather some strawberries for tea. Don't bother with little things like that, Dad. I'm bringing one of my famous cheese pies for tea. Okay, I can't wait to see you all. It's gone back by 15 minutes. Righto. The inflatable kayak. Check. Paddles. Fishing rods, and most important of all, your life jackets. Hmm. And just enough time to make sure the pie gets baked through. We need to make the time right again. I'll hit it again. That'll make it move back. That didn't work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's just a little thing. It doesn't matter. Nobody looks at clocks anymore. They get the time on their phone. Let's play. Honey, something's burning. This doesn't make any sense at all. According to the living room clock, uh -huh. this pie should have stayed in the oven for 15 more minutes at least. Uh -huh. hmm. It's all right. We'll bring Grandpa some jam instead of the pie. Oh! Ah! Oh, oh. Well, bye-bye, Jam. Oh, dear. We need to clean up this broken glass. Quick, we need to beat the traffic to get to Grandpa's on time. Ah, uh, I forgot to secure it to the roof because I was thinking about the jam. Daddy had to go back to get the boat and secure it to the roof. While he did, the traffic got worse. Uh, this might take a while. Huh? Hello, family. What took you all so long? Hello. Hi there, Pa. We're a bit later than we expected to be, but I think we still have time for some paddling. I'm afraid not. By the time we get the boat blown up, the sun will have set. This really is not our lucky day. We're sorry. This is all our fault. We accidentally knocked the clock and moved the hand so the time changed. We thought it wasn't a big deal. But because of what we thought was a little thing, a bunch of other things went wrong. Like the pie being cooked too long and burning. Ah. And because of that, Mommy had to bring jam instead, and all the jars broke. And cleaning up the mess in broken jars made Daddy forget to secure the kayak right. And going back for the kayak made us stuck in traffic. One little mistake with the clock messed everything up. Now it's no paddling pie or jam. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Let's pay more attention to the little things. Excellent advice, kittens. The little things in life are often the most important of all. We can paddle some other time. Don't you worry. As for yummy things to eat, how about fresh strawberries? Strawberries! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Good thing that Grandpa still decided to gather some strawberries. And the kittens realized that even a small thing can have a big effect. Like little strawberries brightening up a frustrating day. Junior Archaeologists. The kittens and Mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Wow! Me wow! Me wow! Me wow! My my, darling. 
it looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh. A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, Good morning, morning sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Awesome! Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> 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 The kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here, and there's no treasure to be found either. Uh, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. Nope. I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Whoa! Hmm? The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. Be 
still going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this, Candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner in all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh, is served. Huh? Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. Ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> 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 Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Be afraid, Candy. Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts, but not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. 
up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, oh. uh, 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 it's a real ghost! ghost. Uh, <laughs> oh, my kitty. I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? Daddy! Oh, <laughs> I think these old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. The Sock Puppet Saga. One day, Mommy brought up a big box from the basement. I win! Kittens! <laughs> hmm? Take a look. This box is full of your old toys. Hooray! I can't wait to play with all of them! <laughs> First, you have to look through all of these mm -hmm. and then decide which toys you want to keep and which toys to give away. Once you're done with that, you can play with them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> look at this! It's Cheeky, my old sock puppet! Hello! Mommy told us many stories about Cheeky, how Cheeky would eat all the sweets. And he sneaks and tugs on kittens' tails in the night. Cookie, we're trying to sort through toys here. Your stories really aren't helping. Hey, I'm helping out. Like, for example, I've decided Cheeky stays. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. Cookie, that hurt. Stop. I'm not Cookie. I'm Cheeky. No, you're not. You're just my brother with a puppet. Oh, hey, Cookie, stop that. I'm Cheeky. Try and catch me if you can. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to catch Cheeky if we want to get our work done. Huh? Sheriff Sweetie is ready to track Cheeky down. Detective Bowtie always gets his puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Bowtie and Sheriff Sweetie set out to find Cheeky.
never catch me! Oh, yeah? Kittens, what happened here? Cheeky was up to no good, as always, and the detective and the sheriff were both chasing him. They were chasing very fast, so they didn't see the ball. Huh. Are you telling me that socks with buttons for eyes are to blame? Yeah! Uh, I didn't have any idea that sock puppets could do such things. Does that sound right to you, Kitten Mitten? My kitchen mitt puppet? Aww. Aww. <coughs> Aww. <gasps> oh, it wasn't me. It was just Kitten Mitten doing it. La 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 bla. Um. Sorry, Mommy. It was us who broke the bowl and made this mess. I guess it's probably better if we put Cheeky and the detectives away. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We should clean up the mess and stop blaming the sock puppets for what we did. When we're done cleaning, we can put on a puppet play. Now that is a wonderful idea, Candy. Kittens, it is really important that you take responsibility for what you do. And don't dump the blame onto someone else, especially an old sock. <laughs> The kittens finished cleaning up and found another use for their puppets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think this wonderful show could use another character or two. Don't you, Kitten Mitten? My goodness, but you're a handsome cat. And Sir uh, Goofy McBoot. <laughs> so awesome! <laughs> me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their parents had a lot of fun performing their puppet play. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> hey, pudding, catch! <laughs> Wow, thank you! Huh? <laughs> and remember when I tried volleyball? We need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. 
Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> oh, wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. Really good idea! Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Pudding, way to go! Yeah, go! <laughs> Uh, thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Musical instruments. One day, the kittens were watching a TV program about musicians. <laughs> all over the country with this tour already. Thanks for all our fans for supporting us. You rock! Oh, yeah. Being a musician must be the coolest. We should totally start our very own music group. Yay, if we're in a real band, then we can tour the world. Plus, we'll have a lot of real life fans. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But toy musical instruments don't really work for a proper band. The kitty cats decided to borrow musical instruments from their friends. Bo had a violin. Just please be super careful with it. And please don't break the bow either. Keep the bow. I'm not <gasps> using it. I'm going to play it just like I was playing an electric guitar. You cannot play the violin like that. Next, they went to Boris and asked to borrow his tambourine. We're going to need a whole lot of different kinds of drums, so they'll make a bunch of different sounds. <laughs> Sorry, but I've only got the one tambourine. And what did Cupcake have? Look! The keyboard. Hmm. Oh, this is just what we need. That's great. We'll return it right after rehearsal. No, wait. I thought you were just going to play it here. I can't just give it to you. It's my mom's. Kittens. Why are you so sad? We want to start a musical band, but we don't have any instruments to play. Uh, 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 oh, well, I'm sure our picnic guitar is here somewhere. <laughs> oh. uh, Hello, kittens. Hmm? What are you doing down here in the basement? We want to start a band, so Daddy's looking for a guitar for us. Found it! Hmm? I found the guitar. Oh, it looks like all its strings are broken. But how can we hope to make a band with a messed up instrument like that? Oh, wait, we can restring the guitar and make it as good as new. Oh, oh wow, that falling stuff sounded just like a drum set. Well, if you think about it, anything at all can be turned into a musical instrument. Awesome! I have a really good idea. The kitty cats created musical instruments out of different everyday things. Amazing! 
amazing, kittens. You've got two great big fans already. They're me and Daddy. <laughs> and I've repaired all the broken guitar strings as well. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, why don't all of us play something together? One, two, three, four. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, yeah! Come on, come on! Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Thanks to their resourcefulness and imagination, the kittens formed a great band. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Piano practice. Candy said she wanted to learn to play the piano. <laughs> Thanks, now we can learn to play all sorts of tunes. You could play us lullabies at bedtime. <laughs> or you could play something really fun for our games. <laughs> But first, Candy has to learn to play. Cupcake's mom will be giving her lessons. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, let's start with some scales. Now you give it a try. All right, now try the left paw. Wonderful! Now let's just repeat that from the top. Cookie and Pudding thought that Candy's lessons were very boring. Instead, they went to watch their favorite pirate show on TV. Hey! <laughs> Candy's lesson was one hour long. She needs to practice playing her scales every single day. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. The next morning, the kittens decided to play pirates in the yard. <laughs> Yo -ho! Candy, remember you need to practice your piano scales for half an hour. Candy, I don't hear you practicing. Okay, I'll start now. Pirate ship is setting sail toward the treasure island. <laughs> Arr! Oh no, we've been attacked by a sea monster. Arr! Arr! <laughs> Don't let it gobble up our ship. <laughs> Arr! 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 I'm missing the fun because I have to practice those silly scales. Hmm. I think you can help me. Can help me. Can help me. Arr! Arr! <laughs> All hands on deck. But what about your practice? Oh, that. I'm all done. Good morning. Good morning. I just stopped by to see how Candy was getting on. Well, she's been practicing for quite a while. Oh. Huh? Hey! Candy, if you don't want to learn the piano, just say so. I want to play, I do. But what's the point in playing scales? But you must play scales to train your paws. Once you've practiced enough, you can play all sorts of tunes. Just listen to this. Show. I would love to play that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's still too hard for you to play. Well, I know how to fix that. I must practice my scales to train my paws to play. After a few more lessons, Candy gathered everyone in the kitty cat's room. Done. Bravo! You did it! That was really great, Candy. Practicing scales really works. 
Practicing scales really work. <laughs> so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The chance to learn a favorite tune was Candy's inspiration to play the piano and bring joy to everyone around her. Forgive and forget. One day, the kittens decided to build a model of their home. Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome. All that's left is to cover it with colored paper. Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, oh. all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. Uh, all right. Now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. Then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, it's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and cookie. I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realized that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Achoo! Achoo! Uh -huh. 
Oh, I'm just gonna go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our um, poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show! Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Oh. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Oh. <laughs> Let's do yeah. it. I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin. Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> cake pudding? Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're gonna need is eggs. And flour, right? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. 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 Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, <laughs> Mommy? I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens, join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, 
you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. A stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. Uh, what if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Huh? Ha. Grandma, that was amazing! You looked like some kind of super cat or something. There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we... Do a few exercises all together. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. Learning to fly. One day, Daddy brought home a remote controlled flying toy. Daddy, what is that? It's a quadcopter drone. It's like a tiny helicopter with four rotors instead of one. You control it with a remote just like a toy car? Amazing! Can I play with the drone too? Me first! Give me the controller! I want to try too, Daddy. Kitten dears, I'm very sorry. But this is a toy that's only for grown-up cats, like your daddy. <laughs> It's not easy to control it. It's better to fly outside. In a little while, we'll go out and try it together. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But later on, I have to finish what I was doing first. You can look at the quadcopter all you want, but be careful and don't try to fly it.
But toys are for kittens, aren't they? Not for grown-up cats. Yeah, it's not like we couldn't figure out how to make the quadcopter fly without Daddy's help. I guess we are the toy experts, so it should be fine. But shouldn't we take it outside? There's more room for flying there. Hi, guys. Look what we brought with us. Wow, that is really cool. My uncle has one just like it. You really know how to fly it? Of course. It's really not that hard. Tell Daddy. Oh. There's only one thing we can tell him. We have to tell him the truth. Daddy! Uh huh. So, are you ready for your first flying lesson? We'll hand me that controller and we'll head outside for our very first flight. We're sorry, Daddy. We thought we could do it ourselves. We already took the drone out. We tried to make it fly, but we had trouble controlling it. And now it's stuck in our chimney. Huh? The chimney on the roof outside? Uh, oh, my kittens, I had reasons for telling you not to fly this by yourselves. You could have broken the quadcopter or words hurt someone. Yeah, I guess we didn't really think about all that. I won't take anything without permission ever again, I promise. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, kittens. And it seems our quadcopter isn't broken, so that's good, too. I'm guessing the controller's broken, and that's why we couldn't fly it right. No, the controller's just fine. Trying to fly a drone like this is a little difficult, and that's why I said it was a toy for grown-ups. <laughs> We'll never be able to fly the drone like that. Sure we will. When we get really, really old, just like Daddy. Probably earlier than that. You just need to learn and practice. But never without Daddy there to teach you and to supervise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That is how the kitty cats learn that some toys are more complicated and can only be played with when you're with a grown-up who can help you. The Kitten's Little Cousin. One day, Mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. Kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son, Bagel, along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin, Bagel, is really like. I'm sure he's really well-behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> and I bet he's good at playing soccer. <laughs> With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever. Or an amazing music band. Hello there, Cinnamon. Auntie Cinnamon! <laughs> Hello there, little kittens. My, how big you've all gotten. Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin. Of course, here's your cousin. <laughs> um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. Oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool 
ball bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, the ball yeah. from my chess set. You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> we should try to calm him down. <laughs> We can't let him play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? The kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Kittens, you've become real friends with Bagel. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. <laughs> <laughs>